Hello and good morning to our listeners from around the world. I want to welcome you to another edition of This Morning with Solivity, broadcasting live from our studio right here in the nation's capital, Washington, D.C., and on KMET 1490 AM radio in Southern California. My name is Brian Wesley Johnson, and I'm so glad you're here. We have another amazing show, but I want to introduce my amazing co-host for today, Sheila Applegate and Dr. Chanel de Guzman. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Good morning. So how has your weeks been? I mean, what's been going on in your world? And I'll go to you, Dr. Chanel, first. Well, Brian and Sheila, I started my week out with a two-day leadership training on management and leadership skills for first-time supervisors and managers. And I did two cohorts. So that's basically six hours for two days. (laughs) And so got some really good feedback. People are inviting me to come in person. So that was virtually. So they're inviting me now to come in person. So Mm -hmm. very strong way to start my week, but very full way. So yesterday I was not surprised when I, you know, I was kind of going at a slower pace. (laughs) And and then just for the good of the order, I still worked out yesterday morning. And then our instructor said, we're moving our time up from 6 a.m. to 5.30 a.m. <laughs> so now I'm going to be Ooh. growing, stretching Brian and Sheila even more. Ooh. 5.30. Let's mm, go. Mm, mm. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Not go back to sleep. No, <laughs> it's summer. That's an easy time to make that adjustment. Yeah, because the sun's out, right? Exactly. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, In the I, winter exactly. when it's like so dark, it's like, oh, my God, will I make right. it? Right. Um, what about you, Sheila? What have you been up to? I did something really exciting last night. I attended the book release party for our former guest, Chantel Simone Frazier, and her oh, poetry book, wow. Beloved Bruised Orange. And it was amazing. I'm oh. so happy oh. and proud of her, and it's out oh, in the world. That's so cool. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. You know, on that note, I'm going to post the link to that show together because that was yeah. she's just amazing. She's so beautiful. And it, the poetry is very um, penetrating to yeah. the heart, you yeah. know, and transformative Right. Right. about awesome. growing up in the inner city of Syracuse. So. That's what the orange is. We're the orange. Syracuse orange. Right. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> yeah. exactly. The Syracuse University orange man um, is the reference. And um, the bruised, she talks in her poetry and, and when she speaks about how, you know, the community may be bruised, but it's still juicy and healthy and tasty. There you go. <laughs> wow. Love it. Wow. It was a great show with her. Um, yeah. Um, and so... We're so glad that she was able to be on this morning and talk about that. So I can't wait to, to actually buy it now. I so know. Really Very exciting. <laughs> um, Brian, what's going yeah. on with you? Yeah. Uh, other than feeling under the weather. Um, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, things are great. I mean, um, um, got a lot of good things cooking in the, in the, in the kitchen. Yes. Uh, with solivity and, and things that people are going to find out very soon. Um, but just loving life, you know, uh, taking it all in one day at a time. Um, I think me and, me and my wife, Sasha, were talking about we need, we need a vacation soon. We need another vacation soon. We need soon. another vacation. Wait, listen, listen. When we come back from the other one, we're already planning the next one. Like, right. Okay. There you go. You know, it just something about being away and, and, de-stressing yes that's that's very important so Absolutely. Uh, thank you to all the people in jamaica that made it so much wonder so wonderful uh, a couple of months ago uh we we're, we'll be back soon um as i said before um we have a fantastic show we have a fantastic topic 
Um, but before we begin, as always, we want to remind our listeners that you are part of this conversation. We want your questions, your comments, your thoughts. Just post them directly to our Facebook or YouTube channels and the chats, and we will make you part of this conversation by displaying whatever those thoughts and questions are in our live feed. Um, so as I said before, we have a wonderful show topic. And what's beautiful about today is it's centered around a wonderful book brought to you by our own Dr. Chanel de Guzman. Yay. Come back. <laughs> Love life, live free. And 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 I'm I'm glad we're doing this because again, part of Solivity's mission is to bring to everyone these beautiful and amazing um, uh, resources so that you can grow and learn and create your best life today. So, Dr. Shannon, <laughs> <laughs> my first question to you is, what led you to write this book? Yeah, What's, well, yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, thank you, Brian. And thank you for this opportunity. So honestly, this was a secondary thought. <laughs> mm -hmm. My first intention, Brian and Sheila, was to publish a book and write a book. And I had already started writing the book called, um, oh gosh, <laughs> just that quick. Um, <laughs> no, here it is. The Forgotten Power of Man. Wow. The Forgotten mm -hmm. Power of Man. Super, super strong book. And if there was a tagline, and I know it's early in the morning, but I'm just going <laughs> to tell you what the tagline is. Go for it. So, so The Forgotten Power of Man, colon, when you give her what she needs, you'll get everything that you want. Wow. And when Ooh. I would tell that to the ladies, you know, they were like, you know, when I say the forgotten power of man, they'd be like, go ahead and write the book, write the book. And then when I would tell it to men, you would get this real kind of <laughs> cheapest. Kind of, no, actually, they were like, they were kind of excited because they wanted to know those insider secrets oh, to getting okay. what women need so that they could get what they want, you know, almost self-serving, but mm -hmm, nonetheless. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And so in terms of writing, come back to yourself, love life, live free. I didn't feel like I could, because my platform is women, women's empowerment, that I could come out with a book for men and benefiting men without writing something specifically to my target audience, which are mm -hmm. women, honestly, the most beautiful creatures of the world, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And so that's where my heart is. And so I felt like I needed to speak to the women first. And so that was the inspiration. And I just literally started writing it didn't take me very, very long, um, but the whole message was is to speak to women so that they could be their best selves to accomplish great things. Because we know what happens when women um, become powerful, mm -hmm. they make significant, significant impact and change. And so that was the impetus for this book, Brian. Oh, wow. That's, ama that's amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so wow. there's another book behind this okay. <laughs> called well, The I... Forgotten Power of Man. <laughs> well, it's not going to be forgotten for long. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> you're going to bring it to the forefront. Right. Uh, Sheila, did you have a question? Well, I'm I'm actually like thinking, oh, it's for women. Yes. <laughs> like, it could be for anyone, really. Yes, I think. it could be. Yes. I know that we typically in our society think of women doing more of the self-help and inner work. But mm -hmm. um, yeah, until you said it was for women, it didn't even really cross my mind. So mm -hmm. everybody yeah. out there, if you're interested, I think you have something in it uh, for you. So um, you, you really... So that was sort of how you got pushed into this one versus the mm -hmm. book you were first thinking of. But mm -hmm. there's definitely an inspiration behind it right from the yes. beginning where you yes. talk about your life and yes. and how you transformed and wanting to share that with others. Can you share a little bit about that part of yeah. um, your passion to write this? Absolutely. So Sheila, I used to, I was told when I was a young young, young adult, um, you know, like maybe in college, you would hear the saying, and it was told to me, you have everything inside of you to be great. Like mm -hmm. everything you need mm -hmm. is inside of you. 
And Brian, I would get so frustrated because I'm like, what is inside of me? What is this thing <laughs> right. that I have that I that will allow right. me to be great? And so as I went through my self-development, which included, you know, going and overcoming um, childhood abuse and depression um, through counseling, through psychotherapy, I really did discover the jewels and the richness that is inside of me. And that was already inside of me. It was suppressed by the trauma. It was mm. overlooked by the constant running of always going and going and going. Mm -hmm. And what I eventually realized is that all that running and all that racing, it prevented me from getting in touch with the answers that truly were inside of me. And I know so many other women like myself who are running from something and maybe haven't had mm -hmm. the chance to heal completely. Mm -hmm. And so that prevents you from living fully and also focusing on your dream and what God has put inside of you, as well as the desires of your heart to come to life. Wow. And so I wanted other women to know that they can, can tap into that inner self, that they can come back, meaning all the external, you know, the jobs and the achievement. And for me at that time, it was a lot, a lot of guys, a lot, a lot of guys in my life mm -hmm. because I was, you know, running. And so I never got a chance to um, find the, the thing that I really wanted. And I have a, a saying that says, uh, what do you want for yourself for real? And so when I was running and running and running, I never took the time to figure that out. And so I would just take whatever was presented to me. Mm -hmm. And so we do that in terms of our profession, in terms of our love life. And I just decided, you know, I'm going to get healed. And I felt like I had a significant breakthrough and I wanted to be able to share that, Sheila, with those who still may not be able to uncover any hidden trauma or have suppressed their desires mm -hmm. to fulfill other people's agendas and needs. Wow. Wow. Yeah. You know, um, Dr. Chanel, th there's, there's a couple of different aspects that uh, we're going to be talking about with you in the next segment. But one of them is this, this trauma right um and uh, you know you you write in the book about you know that you have to you know surrender the secret pain mm -hmm. and welcome into yourself the power of forgiveness yes. so what i'd like to do is mm -hmm. is take a quick break and when we come back we'll talk more about that particular aspect because uh, you know part of this too is um, I think you bring out, and this is true for a lot of us, we're socialized into believing because our parents are trying to protect us into the ideal that they want, not the ideal that's innately within us. Yes. And so we don't live that authenticity mm -hmm. and we just kind of pretend, okay, listen, I've got this and this and I'm doing the check boxes, as Michelle Obama has said in her book, yeah. and you feel unfulfilled. And then it's painful to come into the awakening of what that is all about mm -hmm. later. So why don't we take a quick break and we'll be, okay. we'll be back with more of Come Back to You, Love Life, Live Free mm -hmm. with Dr. Chanel and Sheila in just a minute. We'll be back in about, oh, about 60 seconds. Have you ever asked the question, if I was to be anything, what would I be? Regardless of money, regardless of status, beyond popularity and fame, living your passion, feeling your life has purpose. So liberty is a space to nurture that which lives in all of us. A place where work can become play and doing what we love creates the dreams of a lifetime.
favorite statements is uh, pain pushes until the vision pulls. So life is progressive. You're good. You're good. You are tweet. You are tweet a minute. <laughs> the universe is progressive. Yeah. And it's pushing you. Yeah. Until you get pulled by a larger vision. So once you have a vision that you can articulate. Okay. So pain pushes you. So it get. It's hard. It's harder. It's harder. It's harder. And it's trying to force you into having a vision. A vision yes. That's bigger than 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 and the, the pain. pain. And that's a principle. Potential is always bigger than the problem. Potential is always bigger than the problem. Your potential is infinite and is always bigger than whatever problem you're going through. So when you begin to have a vision. Oh, this is good. I'm going to shout in a minute. <laughs> this is yeah. good. This is really good. Amen. Good. <laughs> you begin to have a, a, a vision about the possibility. Mm -hmm. You start to be pulled by it. And then once you really sincerely embrace it yeah. and your life begins to be, okay, when I wake up this morning, I'm going to walk in the direction of my purpose. I'm going to walk in the direction of my vision. I'm going to walk in the direction of that possibility and the potential yes. instead of allowing myself to go, oh, woe is me, or I can't believe, or that. Right. I'm going to walk in the... Right. This is a this is a good this is a good talk. Then you're not pushed. You, you not can pre preach it. You can preach this. <laughs> this will preach. Oprah told me to preach this. <laughs> <laughs> you, you should preach this. So you walk in the direction of the potential and the possibility instead of being stuck here. Then the you're not as pushed as much. The yeah. cosmic two by four doesn't need to hit you as much. Wow. You're pulled. There's, you're being pulled more by joy, and it's like I'm being pulled by some, something. Now it doesn't mean you're not going to have challenges. Of course. Of course. We don't, we don't, we're not praying to live a challenge-free life. We're praying that the challenges that come activate latent potential. Mm, 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 mm. And we're here talking with Dr. Chanel Faith Guzman and Sheila Applegate about Dr. Chanel's latest book, uh, Come Back to Yourself, Love, Live, Love Life, Live Free. And a part of this is talking about pain. And that's why I wanted to play that, that one clip uh, from Super Soul Sunday with Dr. Michael Beckwith and Oprah Winfrey, because it's talking about that particular aspect. And you talk about this in your book, Dr. Chanel, as well. Yes, that was a really good clip, Brian. Thanks for sharing that. Yes, so that pain that, um, that Dr. Michael Beckwith it was talking about is one that we keep hidden. And we yeah. keep it hidden because we still have to go on and survive. We have to make a living. We have to take care of the kids and we have to go to work. And, you know, we have to do those things that will allow us to, you know, survive on this earth. And so mm -hmm. we don't take the time to get in touch with that pain. And so we keep pushing it down and pushing it down and suppressing it. Mm -hmm. And that is where we don't allow ourselves to be pulled, like Dr. Beckwith was saying, into that bigger vision. That vision becomes clouded. It just gets put on the shelf because we haven't surrendered that pain. We hold on to it. It becomes a part of our identity. We, are, we start to identify more with the pain than that possibility and that potential of our dream and our future. And we also know, Brian and Sheila, that if we don't build our dream, someone will co-opt us or someone mm. will hire us to help build their dream. And so we basically get sucked in and that momentum just keeps carrying us and we put more in it, more in it. And we don't get back to surrendering the pain, healing from the pain so that we can be freed up. So I, I take people through this book of a process of getting freed up from mm. the pain. And part of that is, and I know you'll lead into this is, through forgiveness. So yeah. we're holding on sometimes to that unforgiveness, to that unresolved trauma. And that prevents us from being free enough to go after and be bold and big enough to go after these big dreams that we have locked inside of us. Right, right. Mm. You know, one of the things that I I love what you just said, but it, it brings me into the space of of peace. And that's what I felt when I began reading your book. It's the way you present it. 
even though we begin with the trauma so that we can get to the freedom, um, there's such a an assurance from you mm -hmm. uh, in the vibration of the book that this is all okay and that you've got the reader. And so it doesn't dramatize that. It naturalizes that process. Yeah. Um, so I just want to thank you for that yeah. because it, it's really much easier yeah. than people make it out to be. And you hold that space for people. Thanks for bringing that up, Sheila. Wow. <laughs> wow. That's beautiful. And you share your own personal life too, which is really yeah. beautiful yeah. and, and vulnerable that allows us to be in that space. Well, um, and that's the thing with writing a book, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> we were talking about that before we went on. I mean, you are literally opening up your entire life, your entire heart and soul, and you're sharing that with the world. But again, right. I thought it was so important because we cover up Sheila so well as women and we do it so beautifully. So we hide that pain and we cover it up by looking a, a lot of us. And I did it, you know, looking the part, mm -hmm. looking either the corporate part or the beautiful part you know, whatever you use to cover up, um, whether you go out and you spend money on those shoes and the clothes and getting the hair done and the nails. So that way, no one can really see the pain because you look so beautiful. Like I said, I know women are beautiful, but I want us to be beautiful inside and out mm -hmm. and not have the outer beauty, um, you know, speak louder than our inner beauty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you give people the steps to do that. Yes. I mean, there are definitely steps and, you know, starting with being able to surrender that pain. And a lot of times we have to go in, we have to sit long enough with the pain. And again, that's where we, where we, like me, I was running and I never sat with the pain, Right. but once I did, I was able to go in a place. And honestly, it was in, through the presence of God, which is complete love and joy and freedom and I was able to forgive my perpetrator. As I mentioned, I did experience childhood sexual abuse, yeah. but I was able, not only through counseling and also working with my pastor at the time, but I was able to go before the Lord and be able to find that place of forgiveness, which is just this immense freeing. And I was able to relinquish anything that I was holding against my perpetrator as well as any other, you know, what I'll call miscellaneous hurts or offenses mm -hmm. where I became completely freed up. And that is what started me on my journey of fulfillment because I was no longer bound by anything that was, you know, had me tied up, mm -hmm. you know, that did not allow my heart to sing and to soar and to live life and live free, right. Or love life right. and live free. And right. so that forgiveness part, um, whether you you know get some help from a coach or talk to your pastor or see a therapist, that is an essential part of becoming freed up so mm -hmm. that you can go on to that bigger vision. Why don't we take a break on this because I, and, and continue this discussion because because I think that surrender and and forgiveness are like two sides of the same coin, mm -hmm. um, and. I want to make sure we dive a little bit deeper into this um, because I know your story is, is not unlike other people's stories as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that's an important part of the, of moving out of what you think about yourself and mm -hmm. creating what you truly believe based upon that God spark that's in you. So, Absolutely. Why don't we take a quick break and when we come back, we'll talk more about this on This Morning with Solivity. We'll be right back. Are you ready to take that first step towards true, unwavering inner happiness? Are you like thousands of people who have everything they need, not want, but need, and still can't seem to find happiness and fulfillment in their lives? If so, the Steps to Happiness show is for you. On my show, you will learn about the principles and practices that lead to true inner happiness. Because guess what? It isn't found in our external environment, but within ourselves instead. Together with my guests, 
we will explore the latest physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual well-being practices. And together, we'll advise you on the actionable steps you can take towards a happier, more fulfilled, authentic life. So I invite you to join me each week on Soul Liberty TV on the Steps to Happiness show with me, Teresa Greco. Yes, you can catch today at noon another Steps to Happiness show where Teresa is welcoming happiness coach uh, Robert Mack. He'll be talking about happiness is from the inside out. Um, we're here with Dr. Chanel Faith de Guzman and Sheila Applegate. We're talking about this idea of surrender and forgiveness based upon Dr. Chanel's book, Come Back to Yourself, Love Life, Live Free. Um, I wanted to kind of put a laser focus on this specifically because this is a huge part of it, right? This is a, this is a, a major step in moving into living authentically. And this idea of surrender and forgiveness, I think a lot of times is based in the idea that we internalize what has happened to us from a traumatic standpoint, where even I know in my own life, maybe this is true for you too, Dr. Chanel, where, where we blame ourselves for things that have happened to mm -hmm. us. Mm -hmm. And, um, and man, um, I remembering those moments, those painful moments of going in and, and surrendering and feeling this weight, this huge weight lifted off of my soul. Mm -hmm. Is that true for you too? Yeah. So I'll tell you, I didn't feel the weight at the time because mm -hmm. remember I was running, yeah. I was running 200% like a locomotive through my life. <laughs> right. And so I didn't right. have time to get in touch with that. But I know a lot of women or and people um, do hold on and I'll say like emotional weight, they hold on to the remnants of the trauma. Mm -hmm. It really does reside deep down because we stuff it down. And then we also, Brian, what I call self-medicated mm -hmm. because it doesn't feel good. And right. so right. if you don't want to get in touch with it, you numb it. Right. And right. so a lot of the women that I work with numb their pain with all sorts of external stimulants, which we've talked about before, oh, you know, it's oh. honestly the drugs and now more and more people are using marijuana more and more. They have greater access to it. Um, you know, your, your typical alcohol, a lot of women do drink wine and have done so more during and after the pandemic, um, you know, there's the television, there are tons and tons of relationships. There's all sorts of things that there's the food, there's the chocolate, you know, everybody right. has a vice, but until we can, can let go of some of that to get in touch with that pain, you know, I've, honestly, we, we really can't be free. And it really does take, a, I believe a decision. It takes a decision first so mm -hmm. you will decide on a matter and it will be established for you. Mm -hmm. And so when you decide that you want to be free of this, that you no longer want to have the shame or the guilt or the, the emotional weight and the trauma that you're holding on to, you can make that decision and then get the help, get the resources to break free. But the shortcut or the, the way to really get to it is to sit still and listen and receive the goodness and the, the, the love, you know, from your higher source, from God mm -hmm. that can cleanse any unforgiveness that resides inside of you. And honestly, that was my path. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. it's the most freeing path because, yeah. you know, that, that spark that you talked about, that light is, is pure mm -hmm. and it can eradicate anything that you're holding. And I'll, I'll also say you do need to do this on a regular basis because there's little right. offenses that come up. And right. so you always want to be in a state of freeing yourself up from any hurt, offense, any unforgiveness. Wow. Wow. Yeah. I love, I love that you say that. And in your book, I don't remember exactly how you worded it, but you reminded me so many of the things you said remind me of um, the things I say. And some of the times we use the exact same words, which I thought was very <laughs> cool because we come from different directions. Right. Um, but 
I had been shown that forgiveness, the true forgiveness is when we reach a point where we can turn back and see that it was given for us, you know, like mm. a play on the word, it was mm. given for us. And I think mm. you, you talk about reaching that state of gratitude and, mm -hmm. and appreciation for where you've come, mm -hmm. which is the ultimate. And, and to remind right. people that we can get there, but you also break it down into seven very practical steps. Each step we could stay in for a long time or we could like move through it. And like you said, keep going back and through our life. Mm -hmm. um, so I appreciate you doing that. And which of the steps do you think is most important for our listeners right now to hear about? You already, I think, started with step one, which is. Yeah. Sit. Well, yeah. And I think the very beginning is, and this is in the book, um, is to answer the call of your soul to be free. Your soul wants nothing more than to be free, uninhibited, un, um, yeah, uninhibited, I think is, is the best word I can use at this moment, and free from anything that is weighting it down. So you have to answer that call and then think about what it's costing you. I mean, think mm -hmm. about, you know, the, the physical demands that it takes on your body to harbor. You are harboring unforgiveness. Yeah. And you're harboring it in your sales cells, C E L L S. Um, mm -hmm. And you know, there's also this this um, lack of spiritual growth because you're not attending to those higher, you know, spiritual attributes of love and joy and peace and goodness and and faithfulness um, when you've got these other emotions that are, you know, that have you bound. And then you want to be able to overcome this resistance and identify those barriers and really surrender to them so that you can relinquish those and go through that journey of healing. And it's a little, it's a little scary. It's a little mm -hmm. scary to think that you might not be in control, that you might have emotions that come up that might, you know, cause you to be emotional, but it's better to do it on your terms, Sheila, mm -hmm. than to have something trigger you. And then you're completely out of control. So right. I recommend that you take the time that you steal away and you go into your secret closet, as we call it, or you go on a retreat or you, you know, have a one on one with a coach where you can really attend to whatever you've got locked up inside of you so that we can get that release and you can free up. But first start with answering the call of your soul to be free. Mm. Mm. I love that. Wow. Um, I have another question for you, but I'm going to wait until after the next break. Okay. Um, and this, this regards, this is in regards to outcomes, right? So, you know, as you did your work and you, what I would, what I would call metaphorically is, you know, sweeping away the, the, the coverings of our of our true self right moving that stuff away so that we could emerge from that and live from that place uh and really have it how did that affect your personal and professional relationships at that point okay. um, um so while we take a quick break and when, when we come back we'll talk more about this fabulous book come back to yourself love life live free with dr chanel de guzman we'll be right back everybody Six years ago when I started Solivity, my vision was to support everyone in improving their life through the discovery of their passion and purpose so they could become the best version of themselves to battle fear and ignorance and create a better world today. Get inspired to live your passion and purpose. Visit Solivity.com now. And we're back with more of this morning with Solivity. We are talking about uh, Dr. Chanel's great book called Come Back to Yourself, Love Life, Live Free. And there's an aspect of this that I think sometimes that um, we don't talk about, but that's like, I think, a natural outcome. And I just want to find out from you, Dr. Chanel, if this was something that you that happened with you when you went through this process that you're sharing with other people and that is as as 
you got in touch with yourself and what your what your needs, wants, and desires were, and and that you're now living more from your authenticity. Did your relationships outside of you also kind of change? Yes, yes. So pretty much anything on the inside that changes will make changes on the outside. And you always want to be starting from those internal changes. Mm -hmm. And so I want to quote my daughter, actually, who is in the book. Um, oh, wow. She was helping her, her brother get ready for a dance. And my the brother, uh, Gian, was asking, you know, how do you dance? And my daughter, who is younger than my son by almost three and a half years, she said, feel the beat in your heart and dance the beat. Oh. And I thought, oh. where did she get that from? Oh. <laughs> I was like, wow. you know, five or six years old. And so the relationships, once I changed internally, once I broke through and became healed and whole, I became a whole human being. Yeah, my relationships changed. And so instead of having, and again, I know my husband's listening, instead of having <laughs> one guy after the next, after the next, after the next, once I got whole, I was able to determine what I wanted, for example, in my love life. Oh, wow. And I put a stake in the ground, I wrote it out, and I'm telling you, Brian, when I wrote that out, Gary appeared. Wow. <laughs> Almost, you know, it's that magical <laughs> attraction. Wow. Once you get clear and there's no um, yeah. filters, you know, your, your true authentic self, you attract what it is that you say that you want. And we're now going, you guys, on 26 years of this uh, life. Still newlyweds. <laughs> um, still newlyweds. <laughs> and, and about to be empty nesters, Brian. And you know what that means. So mm -hmm. um, more hand-holding. <laughs> so, so in my love life, yeah, I, I stopped going after and allowing and accepting whatever was presented to me. And I decided what I really wanted. And I allowed that to come into my life. And so that was a big shift for me. And then another big shift was um, we did have, after Gary and I were married, had a little difficulty having children. And again, I'm still on my journey, you, you all. I'm still right. healing and going higher and higher. And we forced, if you will, tried to have kids on our own and it didn't work. I wasn't able to conceive. Mm -hmm. And we tried um, IVF and got some assistance and that didn't work. And it wasn't until I went to even a deeper level of forgiveness that clearly I felt like I was holding something, wow. but I went to a deeper level is when we conceived naturally. And we conceived to the extent that we both wanted a boy first. We both wanted a girl second. Neither of us found out, you know, we didn't find out the sex of either baby and we got exactly what we wanted. Wow. And so I just truly <laughs> believe when you release fully and then you become intentional about your desires you attract that into your life and mm -hmm. so my relationships definitely or my outer world started to match my inner world which was free <laughs> freedom <Yeah>. joy <laughs> love goodness all that mm, mm, mm. you know i'm thinking sheila as dr chanel was talking about that one principle around the universe abhors a vacuum and that mm -hmm. as Dr. Chanel, as you were releasing all this stuff out of your space and, and, and aligning with those values that are universal, joy, love, peace, happiness, mm -hmm. tranquility, abundance, mm -hmm. prosperity, all those mm -hmm. kinds of things, mm -hmm. what came in was exactly that. Yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> right. That is exactly right. And beyond what you could ever imagine. Oh, yeah. I mean, right. so much abundance. Um, and we're so grateful, you know, for it. And, and Sheila, I think you were mentioning earlier, I mean, sometimes, you know, we do go through certain challenges, um, but when we come out, we do come out stronger than obviously before we were presented with the challenge. And the challenge does push you not only to that bigger vision, but in my case, to be able to be essentially an example, a witness, a testimony, for so many other people who are right. holding and withholding and not getting the things that they truly want. And so they're not living and thriving in the way that God truly intended. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. You know, when I, I think of it, as you've both been talking, I think of it as a vibration, mm -hmm. right? And because all of the world is created by vibration. And so when we are clearing our energy, we're raising our vibration, our yes. frequency with yes. which we are emitting our energies. Mm -hmm. And then the like frequencies in that bandwidth will come to us, which is in relationships, is in your work. Mm -hmm. It's in, you start living from that space. And, and as you just said, the last piece, it's, it's for you and it's for the world, right? So if you're coming out of a community or a family that maybe you're the first to take this um, step towards healing and transformation and you feel like you're leaving people behind, it's so important to realize that no, you're raising that frequency and the love they have for you will help them raise it. You're witnessing it. And that's exactly what you're doing, Dr. Chanel. So Absolutely. thank you for that. Yeah. <laughs> and then I want to, oh, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, yeah, a lot of it too ended up being acceptance. So as I mm -hmm. accepted me and my new wholeness, I was able to have a new lens and accept people wherever they were along their journey and it just created more harmony. It created more harmonious relationships as I accepted me and who I was. And even though I live a big full life, um, I can also extend myself to others, but also accept everybody where they are. And then if I can help along mm -hmm. the way, great. But it really did also free me from you know, the high expectations that we have on other people and that we place on other people right. because we all have our individual journeys. I can't live yours. I can help you, but mm -hmm. I can't live yours. Mm -hmm. So acceptance too is a really big part of this, um, this beautiful journey that we're on. Wow. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I want to bring one more thing in before we move on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, one of the things I loved that you said, you talked about, which, cause it's what I've done and we've done in the joy keepers recently too, is you thought back to your childhood and what you loved and who you were and what you like to do, your passions. Mm -hmm. And that's how you found that. And it's such a, just to tell the listeners right now, try that, but yes. can you talk about that? Yeah. yeah. Well, you know, when I was a little girl, I was nine years old, I was teaching already in my, my grandparents' basement. I may have shared this with you guys, you all. And I had my books and my desk and I had a whiteboard. I mean, I was a bona fide, I was just not certified, but I was a bona fide teacher. I was a bona fide educator at nine years old. But I allowed the conditioning of society that said teachers are underpaid. They're, it's super demanding. And they have bad parents and bad kids. And so we know that's not entirely true. And I changed my major. But what it did is it reminded me and also to, as I'm working with uh, the people that I coach, we need to go back to that joy, that, that fulfillment that we had that was uninhibited when we were children. We didn't think it was just natural. Mm -hmm. right. And go back mm -hmm. to that and gain elements of, of that experience. It's like flip back to flip up. You know, mm -hmm. I flip back to that meaningfulness that I had in my purpose and I flip up and I interject it into the, the task, the jobs, the responsibilities, the contracts that I'll take on now. Does it bring me that kind of joy and fulfillment? Does it align with the purpose and passion that I had without even thinking when I was a young child freely? And that's like a clue to your fulfillment, especially in your profession. Mm -hmm. We really talk a lot about the professional world, but the thing that you might want to be thinking about is what did bring you that joy and happiness? The thing that you really wanted to do when you were a child before you learned, oh, they don't make enough money. Oh, that's not going to work. What are the elements that you can take out of that and create a new opportunity for yourself professionally as well as personally? Wow. I love that. Wow. Wow. Can we just keep talking about this? <laughs> Listen, we're going to take another quick break. Uh, and when we come back, we'll have some final thoughts from all of us. So we'll be right awesome. back with more of This Morning with Solivity. Hey there, this is Brian with Solivity.com. I want to share some exciting news about our new Aspire Academy by Solivity. 
Now, you probably want to know what the Aspire Academy by Solivity is. Well, it exclusively connects you with people around the globe and who share the intense desire to improve themselves and create a better life for themselves today. There's classes, there's workshops, there's live events, and even more exclusively just for you. You see, I wanted you to have a safe space where you could grow, you can learn, and it would empower you in all aspects of your life, including your mind, your body, and your soul. So how do you get started? Well, it is so easy. First of all, the best part, joining Aspire Academy is absolutely free. Just click on the Join Now button, sign up, and begin your journey. As a special part of this invitation to you, there are some free courses that are available for you to try from our amazing roster of coaches and collaborators. It's our way of saying thank you for all of your support and being with us along our journey of expansion. I hope you enjoy the Aspire Academy by Solivity today. Start the process. Learn more about your passion, your purpose, and how to live a higher quality life. And we're back with more of this morning with Solivity, and we'll go to some final thoughts from each of us. I'll go to you, Sheila, first. I would just highly encourage you to read the book, Come Back to Yourself. Um, right. <laughs> I'm really grateful that I I started reading it, um, and there's a couple things about it. I feel like it, it felt there was an essence of coming home to some of the language of uh, my family. Um, as I was yeah. growing up, I could feel my mom's present when reading it. And there's just this like being wrapped in this comfortable place as you go through mm -hmm. the process. Mm -hmm. So wherever you are in your journey, I, I think it's a practical way that you can always just, you know, reevaluate yourself and, and go even deeper. So I highly recommend that. And I also really felt like I got to know you more, Dr. <laughs> Chanel. And you know, we come here yeah. every week and we talk to each other on these <laughs> deep topics. And then I'm like, but you know what? I don't know what she was before we got here. Like, what is it? <laughs> so that's also why I wanted to share with our Aww. listeners too, because um, you're amazing. Oh, thank you, Sheila. You are super sweet. <laughs> um, I appreciate you again, just being able to lift up the essence of that book that is wrapped in love, that's wrapped in support, because we all are going through something. Um, so I want to say, Brian, I'm going to be a little bit more direct. I want to tell and encourage our li listeners, especially because you know I was on the inside, meaning I've got the insider track. So I know your tricks and your you know, I know the tricks. So I want you to stop pretending. I'd like for you to stop hiding, stop covering up, stop masking and what we call facading, facading. You've got so you do. I'm going back to the beginning. You have so much greatness inside of you wow. and it's waiting for you to unleash it, not only for your own soul's fulfillment, but there's somebody out there that needs that spark, that needs that light. And so do it for yourself, but then also know somebody's waiting on you to fulfill your dream and your vision, your mission. So I encourage you, like Sheila said, go ahead and pick up the book, go through the steps, and, and we're there to support you along the way. Mm, 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 mm. I, I, I don't think I have anything else to say about that. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to just kind of leave it right there and just, I mean, just say um, thank you. Dr. Chanel for writing this, because I think that, you know, people need this type of information. They need a guide, you know, a guide to help move them through uh, those very, very painful experiences um, and, and, you know, and emerge so they can emerge their authenticity and, and, and a better life. 
mm-hmm. start living a better life today, and which is Absolutely. what it's all about. So, Absolutely. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. Um, I get you know, we got some shameless plugs that we always do here. <laughs> um, that wasn't one of them. You know, we, we that was a beautiful plug that we just did. Um, I'll go to you, Sheila. With I mean, we we've been talking about this uh, consistently, but. It, it deserves talking about all the time, this new fantastic book on the Energy Healers Oracle. Uh, can you give us that, that high level overview of this book? Yeah, this is a, a collaboration and I am one of the authors along with my partner, Zach. We talk about our healing modality, fractal illumination and how it came to be and um, I take you on a little adventure, but this is a book of 20 uh, master healers from around the world sharing their stories and um, their tools and how they transform their lives and help others to do the same. Nice, 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 nice. And I mean, it's available right now at Amazon. Um, the Kindle book is still the Kindle book is still on sale, right? Right now, for I haven't checked it, but it might uh-huh. still be on sale. Okay. I'm sure it's not that expensive right. anyway. Right, right, right. Exactly. exactly. Get this, it now. It's probably get, on sale. Yeah, it, it, it probably is. So make sure you go get that now. Um, and then also you've got your soul connection sessions that are happening. Yeah, that's an ongoing thing. If you're interested in a one-on-one session with me to dive deeper into your soul and connect to that inner passion um, and perhaps with loved ones who've crossed into spirit or your spirit guides, just go to SheilaAppleGate.com and use the the code SOUL23 to get Mm -hmm. $4 off your first session. Perfect, perfect. Love it, love it, love it. And Dr. Chanel, really quickly, in addition to people this uh, buying this additional, this great book, yes. you have complimentary coaching sessions that you're doing. Yep. In addition to the complimentary coaching sessions, I also, I'm, I'll be doing five Facebook lives next week at oh, 1 p.m. Mm-hmm. Yep. Eastern Standard Time. So just go on Facebook and we will be talking about stop pretending so that you can live your best uh, authentic life. Oh, I love it. This is great. Great stuff. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, we're almost out of time. Just want to let people know, uh, follow us on Facebook and other social media platforms to get more information about upcoming shows, especially like exclusive content. Uh, Don't forget to join our mailing list by going to solivity.com this morning. And on behalf of all of us, I want to say thanks for joining us again for another great episode of this morning. We hope that you come back and join us every weekday at 8 a.m. Eastern for our live broadcast. Or you can listen at 9 a.m. Pacific time on Thursdays and Fridays on KMET 1490 a.m. radio for all of you out on the West Coast. Don't forget to get the KMET app. You'll be able to watch directly from wherever you are in the world. Until next time, keep having real conversations with passion and purpose and create that life, a great life of high quality living today. Bye for now. Reserve.